One person walk here. You look. What time is it? Look me. Where is the hotel? You want a call for you? Call a best hotel. No. What really happened here? Operations at the Bandar Naik International Airport in Kartanaika are carried out by several institutions. The airport operations are run by Sri Lankan Airlines. The Ridha Sevaka Sangamir of Sri Lankan Airlines said that three Sri Lankan Airlines aircraft are short-staffed and with experienced employees leaving the country, it has become difficult to continue operations with the limited number of employees available. They also point out that the staff at Sri Lankan Airlines is coming under a lot of pressure from passengers due to the shortage of aircraft and the subsequent delays due to technical failures in the aircraft. Passengers expressed their discontent after the flight schedule to Chennai and Hyderabad in India, Dhaka in Bangladesh and Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia were delayed. What happened after? I am not sure if 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 I am in short, this is like a bull sitting on the ground in the middle of the road as the weight that he has been saddled with is too much. Sri Lankan Airlines staff returned to the counters at about 6.30 this morning. This was the situation at the departure terminal of the BIA this morning. Trade Union said the management of Sri Lankan Airlines had granted them a meeting on Monday to discuss these matters. What is a solution to these issues? These are the views expressed by the trade unions. We need to take a decision to formulate a timetable that we can stick to based on the aircraft that we currently have. By issuing tickets and then later delaying the flights, we are not only ruining the reputation that we have among the passengers, we are also inconveniencing the passengers. What is Sri Lankan Airlines saying about this situation? Sri Lankan Airlines issued an apology to the passengers. Sri Lankan Airlines said that there was a tense situation among passengers after several flights were delayed and the check-in counters at the airport were not functioning. They highlighted that steps are being taken to prevent such situations from repeating in the future. News First contacted the Minister of Ports, Shipping and Aviation, Nimal Siripala de Silva, and inquired about the situation. He said that a press conference will be held tomorrow to inform the media regarding the steps that will be taken to prevent the over-hour delay in several flights belonging to Sri Lankan Airlines.